IND. Uh, Mark Hansen's <laughs> fully fit to go, he's been named to the team. He is, yeah. Um, he obviously had a few things to do at the beginning of the week, but he's, um, he's coming good and everyone's uh, very confident that um, he's going to be fine for the game, no problem. Andy, us All Black fans have always believed that our team has had an aura about them and an inner invincibility about them, born of results and success over about 100 years. With your recent track record, do either of you guys believe in that? Is it a myth? Is it something you think about now? Or is it something that you believe with the results, four wins and six matches, that you've actually busted that? I don't, I don't think we think too much about it because it's just about the here and now and what's going on in the past is, is irrelevant to us this week. We, we're just trying to get better as a team and so are they and uh, roll on in the competition. So um, I suppose what would be um, at the forefront, hopefully, of, of, of both, um, uh, both teams is, is the, the mutual respect of um, uh, where both teams are sitting right now, but at the same time, the competition is, 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 is where it should be for a quarter-final, I'm sure about that. Johnny, just further to that, just over here, Johnny. Um, I know that you guys are here to do a job, and this is one game on the road to where you want to get to, but given the rivalry and given the career you've had, you've played a lot of games against the All Blacks, I just wondered what sort of personal satisfaction you might take from sending the All Blacks out of the World Cup. Again, I haven't thought once about personally what, what the game means it's all about the team and progressing in the in the competition that's all we're, we're thinking about it's not about anything personal you know I've had some great battles against New Zealand over the years with, with Ireland and the Lions and um, what you learn is every game is is as tough as the last no matter what the result and that's what we're preparing for we're preparing for the toughest game we've we've ever faced and uh, we're trying to put ourselves in a frame of mind that we're going to be ready for it. Johnny, how do you overcome the mental hurdle of having never made it past the quarter-final stage? Um, well, we, we, we worked on our mental game for the last four years. Um, we've put ourselves in different scenarios um, over the last four years to prepare for this. Um, you know, but each quarter-final that we haven't got through or we, when we haven't got through our pool... Um, you know, it's, they've all been different, and it's a different group again. So each of those groups lost once. It wasn't the same group losing quarter-final year after year. Um, so it's, if it was club rugby, it would be, you know, probably a bigger hurdle, but it's a different group, and uh, I don't think we're carrying much baggage. It's a one-off game, and we've got to prepare for it now. Tommy? Andy, you might just give us a little bit of a two-parter here. Um, just on the lads who have been injured, who aren't included, a little bit of a status update on them. Um, and then also, how good is it after the worries that we had on the injuries uh, to be able to name that 15 that, that started the game on Saturday as well? Well, the, the second part first, I mean, people have always got injuries and bangs and, and knocks, and at the start of the week, there's always, you know, is this going to turn around? And some turn around a lot quicker than, than, than you would uh, uh, expect, etc. So. Uh, that's just rugby within, within uh, a general week, so so um, that is, it is what it is. Um, and then, as far as uh, Keith Earls is concerned, it was a little bit too quick for him this week, so he'll get back to the rehab. We're very confident that um, if we push on through the competition, that he'll be fit for for next week. Uh, exactly the same with Bobby Enshaw, probably a little bit too soon, progressing very well, both of them. James Ryan um, is out with uh, is a wrist injury that, that has been uh, sorted. We expect him as well to be fit for next week if, if uh, we're able to get that far. Thanks, Luke. Hi, Andy. Um, has the mood changed in the countdown? You've come out of quite a long three stage and now into the knockout of the business end of the tournament. Um, well, we was in it last week, so um, the, the, it's the same mood. It's the, it's, it's the big boy stuff, isn't it? It's, uh, it's the business end of the competition, and you know when you get to those um, uh, points within a competition, then you, you draw hopefully on good experiences that you've had and the experiences that we've put ourselves under. 
in the last uh, three or four years uh, there for, for moments like this. So we've got a very experienced group that's been through a lot um, and learning to deal with uh, weeks like last week and this week is something that we've got pretty good at. So enjoy all those experiences. Constantly, I'm constantly locking myself in the room and uh, giving myself a good, uh, a good uh, dressing down. Uh, we, um, we, we obviously uh, get to the point with Gary about uh, getting as mentally fit as we possibly can be and being as role most mentally because myself and Gary and the rest of the coaches do everything together. So it's a joined up approach of how we go about all this and what's, what's best needed for the team. Johnny, you've um, fantastic. The one glaring omission would be a World Cup title. Uh, if you were to claim one, that would elevate you to possibly the greatest ever first five that's ever played the game. How do you try and put that? <laughs> put that pressure away from you. Pressure off. Do you, do you think we should turn this off? Should, should I make that decision? I guess you have to have a little bit of pressure for trying to draw that sort of desire to have a little bit of 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 Sorry, I got distracted there. With, I forget the, the full question, but like trying to win a World Cup, it's something to go and get. It's not something that puts pressure on me. Um, it's something that you dream of, um, probably not as a kid, because when we were kids, we didn't dream of Ireland winning a World Cup, uh, where we, I suppose we put ourselves in a position now to, to go and do that. Um, but it's something to go and get. It's not something to be pressured about, and I haven't thought about my own career, to be honest. I'll think about it more when I, when I finish. Um, but, you know, it's all geared up towards a, a massive game on Saturday, a massive challenge for this team, the biggest we faced, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Great. Andy, big opportunity for Joe McCarthy and Luke O'Brien. <coughs> How much did you reach those decisions and how excited are you to get to Well, obviously, with. with um, is, is this off as well? No, I'll just leave, leave it on. There's interference. Thanks. If you like Holden, you can use it. If you like Holden, you can use it. I do like Holden. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, obviously with James, James out, um, it leaves a spot there and just to how he's progressed and he's fighting, he's want to be involved is, is, is very evident to us all throughout not just the pre-season, the warm-up games but since he's not been playing over the last couple of weeks, you know, he's, he's, we keep seeing him grow the whole time and it's, it's time for him to, to be put into a, a big game like this and he's, 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 he's certainly going to add um, to our performance when he comes off the bench. And Jimmy, um, what you don't probably realise is that Jimmy got a, a knock on his shoulder um, uh, during the Samoa game and um, he, was, he was certainly out for the first two games of the, of, the, of the World Cup for us. But there's one thing about Jimmy. Brian, he is unbelievably um, uh, smart, uh, nice and cool and calm and collected, unbelievably fit and he's unbelievably good at fitting in in numerous different positions so with a little bit of disruption that we've had at the start of the week it just makes more sense for us to, to, to go with that option. Thanks. It's the last question in the, uh, the live section to Kieran and then we'll have a few questions for a written newspaper before we finish. Um, Johnny, Joe Smith is pretty new into the job and he knows that on tour to the last year. Do you see more of his influence in the way yeah, I, I think so. I think the, you can see evidence of, of Joe's um, coaching through the team. You know, I think they've made big strides over the last 12 months. Um, I know they've been a different forwards coach as well from, from when we were there. So they've made big strides. We, we know that it's uh, a, a very much a different team we're playing against. They've said it themselves, they're a very different team. So.